Uh, so we've got an interesting looking one here. Their name is the Salt Lord. They stated Li Zhang, Tracer Cassidy, Salt Lord, 1150 PC. Queued up for a game with the boys and ended up with a 57 limb game with the longest hold I've ever seen. Enjoy. Well, you know what, chat? You gotta say it at least. Bronze players might not be very good, but at least they have friends. And that's more than most of us can say, am I right? All right, let's see. Skin check. This used to be the S tier skin of like really good Tracer players. I'd say it's probably about an A now though. Maybe maybe even a B. It's, it's fallen, it's not aged amazingly and there's just better versions now. Also, you're playing Tracer, you probably shouldn't be the first person in line. Just throwing that out there. I like that you're not, fe you're not, you're very fearless. I, I do enjoy the fearlessness. The aim could use a lot of work. Um, but like, it's not terrible, honestly. It just kind of like spazzing a little, but it's not bad. There's a Moira, you missed that. Okay. Your actual engagements just suck. Like you're just going in 1v6 and blinking around. You, unless, if they were not bronze, you'd just be insta-dead on cooldown. That's like your biggest thing. It's like, you're, you're, you're going in going for kills, which is fine, but like, you're, you're too impatient and you're going in 1v6. Like, come in from the side, three to four shots, you know? Actually, can you make that jump? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You actually knew that. I'm actually quite surprised. Decision making was a little bit faster, maybe, maybe a little bit better. Um, you're 30 HP. I would have recalled Um. The, 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 the literal hairs on your ass cheek. That's how close that was. You gotta be a little bit more careful doing stuff like that. So, right now, your mechanics could use a lot of work. You're also just, like, frontlining. It's like, that's not how you play Tracer. Honestly, not, you probably should have went and just contested. Might as well. I mean, it's no different than what you've been playing so far. You know, Ryan needs some help. I mean, you probably could have been at least a little helpful there. You kind of, like, went brain AFK and just, like... You saw your Ryan was walled and, like, instead of just, like... I don't know, putting some pressure, trying to be, like, do something, be helpful, you just kind of stand there. You know, it's like, not my problem. It's like, bitch, it's your problem. Okay, I actually like that a lot. No, stop. Okay, all right, let's talk really quick. All right, it's time to, it's time to somebody finally fucking tells you the truth. You've been lied to for the last six years. You have been gaslit and lied to by every high level player for the last six years. Because people have always taught you target priority. What is target priority? Well, especially if you're going to kill someone on the enemy team, who should kill first? The supports, right? Kill the supports. If the supports die, then you kill the rest. Like, there's nobody healing them. Support in Overwatch is genuinely possibly the strongest role of any game of what support is. Uh, it has killing power. It has escape power. It has stuns. It, it's just, it's just, it is just, it's just, it's just, you're not killing half of these supports unless you catch them without their cooldowns. What does that mean? You watch them wear a fade, go chase her. You see the Mercy fly off and she's half HP, go ahead, go kill her. Same thing is with DPS. You kill the DPS, the DPS are squishies. Kill the squishies, right? Kill the squishies, kill the squishies. Dude, that is true in a lot of ways. However, though, this is where it's not true. When it's a f***ing junk rat, watch. Who literally moon blasts himself away. You're doing negative f***ing damage. You almost had this Sigma probably dead. And instead of still shooting the Sigma and farming a free pulse bomb, good stick. Farming a free pulse bomb earlier to get a kill, you're kind of like fooling yourself that you need to kill their backline, you need to kill everybody else. You kill them if they're available. You shoot them if they're available. If you force it and go deep in, go really, really, really deep, and it's not available, you're dead. Also, your Genji just bladed. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's in your stack, uh, so tell him he sucks. There's very few supports that you actually can go deal with as Tracer solo as long as, like, that's 
kind of unlucky, but this is the whole point of you not frontlining. Like, you're frontlining on Tracer because you want to get damage in. You're impatient. You don't know how to come in from the side. You don't know how to flank. You're playing basically Soldier 76 with Blinks. This is like, you're, it's like you're playing goats on Tracer, you know? Like, I, I would have been, like, if I was you, I'd be playing this white room a lot more. I'd be playing this outside a lot more. You know? Like, I understand you're going kill the mercy, kill the mercy, you know? Which is fine. Like, nothing's wrong with that in that particular instance. Um, but, like, the, how deep you are in the middle of the fights. Also, you watch way too much J3. Who the f... Dude, if you watch J, stop that immediately. No, I'm just kidding. I love J, but still, like... The too slow thing is so f***ing annoying. Stop that. I, I appreciate the attempt. That was a good attempt. Uh, also, I also think this is also a good time to point out that a lot of like low ranked players genuinely believe that the uh, limbs and damage is uh, limbs like means mu much. No, it doesn't. You're playing Tracer, dude. It's like playing D.Va. Like, if you play D.Va, you should have gold limbs every single game you play because you can just spam across the map and hit like tink, 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 and like you do like, I'm not joking, one damage. But if you do one damage and they die, you get in a limb. It's very easy to farm them up, I guess. So, also, I don't understand your your inherent need to look down all the time. Like, it's very confusing. I mean, you even do it in mid-fight. Like, stop. Like, I, I know it doesn't, like, make... Like, it's... You're in the... You're in the... Uh, stop! Like, what's the point? You know? Like, what's the point, dude? You do it mid-fight, too. It's like you look down to spray in mid... Like, when you reload sometimes. It annoys me. Stop it. Also... I also can't help but feel like your your crosshair placement is inherently lower. Like, even when you're shooting tanks, you're not shooting upwards, you're always shooting downwards. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very... I've never really seen it before. It's odd. It's not, like, that terrible, but it looks wrong. Also, their baby is gonna smoke your ass if you don't kill her. There you go. I mean, it could've been way faster, but... Eh, we'll take it, I guess. Like, see, like, even when, even when you're running around right now, you're looking at the ground, like... I don't, I don't understand it, like, I feel like that's like a, that's almost like an inherent crosshair placement problem. Like, I think in Valorant, Valorant, is, or CSGO, or great games, for example, is like, your crosshair placement is the difference between having to make a very difficult flick, and being in the right spot to just click... Oh! Oh, that was, that was very nice. And, uh, just having to click and kill something, you know? Also, again, though, this is kind of like, if you weren't playing other bronzes, you're probably not getting away with a lot of this. Um, because you're fighting, like, 2v3, or 2v, or, sorry, like, 2v1 or 3v1 in those situations, and then sometimes someone comes over and it's a 2v3. You're always kind of inherently down. Like, you go for the Moira there, right? Like, you used all your blinks, and now you used your recall. Their tracer should have chased you and killed you, you know? Like, they're just... You're in bronze. Like, they just don't know better. Um, but I will say, though, I don't think you're bronze caliber. Like, at least as bad as some of the ones recently. Uh, I wonder, because you always play with friends, either A, you're playing against other stacks and the games are inherently harder, or B, uh, your friends are just dog shit. Because um, I don't think it's that bad so far. Like, it's just... Your crosshair placement sucks, your engagements suck, your cooldown usage isn't inherently terrible. It's mostly because of your decision making that makes it worse. So I I, I don't want to say I'm impressed. I'm just more of like, you know, it's not the worst, honestly. I, I wish I I wish I could probably say it was the worst, but like that right there, that's why you're in bronze. It's is, is trying to blink after the enemy team two v five because you're trying to chase some kills. You're, you don't have any awareness. You don't know where you are. You don't have spatial awareness. You're not looking around. You're not looking at other players. It's almost like tunnel visioning, um, but not as severe as tunnel visioning you're just chasing one target. It's more of a tunnel visioning of you're not looking at the greater picture of what's around you. Those are the things you need to look for and pay attention for. You need to be looking for the, uh, the fade, looking for, uh, they, did Bap use, uh, lamp? Did their brig bash? Did their mercy just start her flight? Like, is she flying from one target to another? If she's in the middle of her flight, when she gets there, it has to rest for a second before she can fly again. That's a perfect opportunity. Also, Jesus Christ, what is this stall? Okay, you should not have killed them there, but again, this is bronze, so it's fine. So I think the Moira used Fade, didn't she? Taking too long. Chase the Moira. 
Chase the Moira. Chase the Moira. Chase the Moira. We lost her. Okay, that's fine. I think I just heard her use Fade again. I think I just heard her use Fade again. Oh, well, there, there goes that. What am I watching? By the way, listen, I'm not trying to be a dick. Like, inherently, this isn't, like, the worst gameplay I've ever seen in Bronze. But when a fight stalls this long, it's a DPS problem. Genuinely. You have the stopping power that the other ones don't have. Like, like stalls come down to, like, tanks support staying alive. But, like, if it goes this long... It's mostly on you. And um, I don't know if it's you and the other DPS because you've done a good job staying alive. However, though, that's not really the problem, though. It's like you haven't tried to kill their Moira like enough times. You're not shooting their tanks when they're vulnerable enough. It's just kind of like this like happy blink around and hope not to die fest, which also is an, its own unique skill. But, like you're going to force this Moira to probably fade and then not chase her again. She actually just faded into you. Oh, well, good Lord. What is this? You got to remember, too, like, Look at the comp they're playing. You have to just look for people to make mistakes. Like, if you're playing Tracer, you're not playing a high damage character like a Reaper or a Junkrat or, you know, a Soldier or a Cassidy where you can, like, you know, burst them down. Also, again, the spatial awareness kind of means a lot there because you didn't. It was a pulse bomb that I heard that was very much next to you. You could have just recalled it, not known where it was, and still would have been staying alive, but. Don't be afraid. Chase that. Like, uh, you're, you're... Okay. I kind of understand the problem. I kind of understand the problem, and I've, I've started to adopt this term a little bit more, is you're trying to play perfect Overwatch. Uh, you're trying to kill the supports, kill the squishies, farm the tanks, stay alive, do damage. Like, it's my you're always trying to today, play grouped up, play as a team. This is three. genuinely, like, inherently a problem of listening to too many people's takes on how to play the game. Because things like chase a kill and like deny them and like make sure they don't escape aren't things that you're gonna hear that often. Because if you are someone who's chasing a kill, there are times where you can end up feeding or overcommitting. So people won't tell you to do it that often. Because it only works out if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then you made a mistake. But that's inherently how anything works. It's just like people's perception, I guess, of it. So you heard the Moira used Fade, right? Don't let her use Fade again. There you go. That's what ends up getting the kills. Now, the Lucio's gotta be the next one to go, because Lucio's gonna take too long. Now you force out his Fade, and then the second he's done, you kill him. There you go. Now the ball, you're gonna have to chase this f***er around for the, for the next minute. I don't honestly swap to D.Va really fast. But let the Baby D.Va, let your teammates kill the Baby D.Va. Then you chase the ball again. Chase the ball again. And chase the ball again. They're more it in. Go chase the ball again. You're waiting to play with your team on point. There's no reason to. Go f the chase. The ball is going to go get a bunch of health packs. He was low. You could have go and killed him. That's fine. Like it's like it's almost like you're not. You're trying to play too perfectly. You're trying to play way too perfectly. You have a different job than the rest of your team. Inherently, you have to go do it. Now the Moira is back. Make sure the Moira dies. Moira is dead. Nice. Make sure you don't hit a mine. Help with the diva. The ball's in your priority. Ball is your priority. Tracer in high level games chases ball around. That's what she does. If the tracer has nothing better to do, you chase the ball. Chase the ball. Chase the ball. If you want to kill the Reaper? That's fine, but you got to go chase the ball. Chase the ball. See the ball? Chase the ball. Kill him now. Now go to Moira. Like, you see what I mean? It's like kill priority has changed so much over the years. That it's like the old inherent tactics of always kill the supports, then the squishies, then the tanks. Like, it doesn't inherently work anymore. Um, it, sorry, let me not say that. It works. But, like, not to the, like, same hardcore level it used to. You need to be more dynamic. You need to be more... It's the same reason people come in and go, Futs, can you give me a tip on how to get better? Dude, f*** off. Like, I can't just give you a magic tip and you all of a sudden you're going to be better. If I could do that, I'd be a f***ing millionaire, dude. Like, you have to put in the work. Like, you can get helpful skills there's videos there's coacher coaches that do stuff there's uh tons of content and tons of free resources there's tons of ways to learn uh but it just like if you just get a magic tip and are better like dude that that doesn't really exist like sure people can give you little little things but like they have there's so much so much more specific like you have to point out like specific things it's it's a lot harder than that also balls of steel going straight for the diva stick Getting the Moira, though. Okay, the Tracer's low, right? Like, she commits to that Tracer kill. 
And that was kind of unfortunate. Um, not much you're gonna do about that, but probably should have went to the tracer anyways. Like this 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 meleeing the floor shit is pissing me off though, seriously. Because honestly, your, your aim, once you actually start aiming, isn't terrible. It's just the beginning. Because, like, you end up either over-adjusting or under-adjusting. And it's, like, and like you're, like, like, all over the place. When it's, like, if you started in a good spot, you wouldn't have to adjust as much. And you might even be, like, a way better aimer than you thought you were. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break you. Good. See the Moira? You just heard her use Fade. You heard their Moira use Fade. Go find her. Go find the Moira. You heard her use Fade. She just faded again. Go find the Moira. She just used Fade. Go find her. You're taking too long. Use Recall for no reason. I know you need health, but now you're dead. This is just not... This is actual nightmare fuel, though. Like, dude, I honestly kind of just hope somebody... Did y'all see that? Flats, thanks for the content. Thanks for keeping it up through the doldrums waiting for our two. I have a theory. Hold on. I need to confirm. What do these other two names say? Mads and Shadow. Oh, I think we found our winner. I think we found our winner. So there's Mads. There's Fat. There's you. And that's Shadow. So you guys all stack together. And you all have the same dog shit look at the floor melee problem. Do you guys all watch each other's games on like how to get better and shit? Because y'all are literally the blind leading the fucking blind. Like, dude, imagine if you were blind and you were asking another blind guy like what, what the room looked like. Like how the f Dude, like you, you, neither you could fucking see, dude. And then he walks off the map. Bro, oh, you we, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, if you actually want to climb, I think you need to find your own place. I actually think you're not as bad as 1,100 bronze. I actually think you're a little bit better than that. Uh, but I might be seeing the problem of why, why you're, why you're stuck, <laughs> why you're not having a good time. Uh, so I guess it's friends or, or or SR, and I think we all know the answer to that question. Dude, the floor melee. Good reactions, dude. Nor I don't think any of the bronze we've been watching recently would have reacted like that. That's why I don't actually don't think you're as bad as, as your SR says. I think you're slightly above it, but... Okay, never mind. I take it back. You just missed on a f***ing sim turret. A sim TP. Come on, dude. Alright, the question is, how are you going to fight this? Okay, you got your... Genji just dashed through them. Yo, listen. Okay, now I'm getting mad. Now I'm actually getting kind of annoyed. Your Genji just dashed through them, right? Ready? Yoink, half HP. So instead of going, okay, maybe I should start shooting this Moira or the Lucio. Most likely Moira slash Sim, because Lucio is really hard to kill his Tracer. You're shooting the Sim turrets that is taking you more than a clip to kill because you're in f***ing Narnia playing Tracer 76. You're, you're wasting whole clips on f***ing Sim turrets. Their Moira just faded in front of you, and he, she doesn't have the ability to run away now. It's a free kill, and instead of going for the freebie, you're shooting the rest of the Sim turrets and die to kill two Sim turrets! Like you're, you're still meleeing the ground, like you can, you can literally like... <laughs> It's I'm fucking lose it, dude. Flashbang? Okay. A little bit sooner, it could have stopped that. Coulda, you absolutely could have stopped that. Like, reaction time. You know what? You have all the reactions in the world to punch the ground, but you can't flashbang a fucking a Rhine two feet in front of you. I'm just saying. Stop it. Confusing why you saved the flashbang for so long. Just use it right away. Keep more health. Get an easy kill. Here we go. Right click Randy's here. Good shots. 
just flashbang him. Oh, come on. Flashbang him early, you still have one bullet left. Thinking about it too much. Like, honestly, the aim is not even bad. Like, you're if you weren't playing in the middle of their team, 1v6, like, the aim is actually pretty decent. Stop. Okay, the right clicking's gotta stop, though. Like, I understand for the Rhine Shield up close, but the, the rest of the fight, not really. That's fine. I'm cool with that. That's I'm chilling. Sim tar Sim Sim TV. Sim TV. Look up. Sim TV. Look up. Look up for the Sim TP. Make sure it's not there. It, uh, check for the Sim TP. The Sim TP. The Sim TP. They're all over the ground. You can't see the Sim TP. You don't look up. You don't look up. You don't look up. You all, oh, dude, look the f up. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ, dude. The whole the dude. The fucking sitting there, meleeing the floor, has made it so you can't use your eyeballs above this level. It's pissing me off, dude. Like, like, dude. People will be like, "Oh, Flats, you're being harsh on them because they're bronze. They're crosshair placement. Like, who matters? Like, they got other shit they gotta work on. They just win a fucking full 30 seconds, getting full free respawns." Because of a sim TP that they refuse to look up for. They're just waiting for new targets like bots. Like they're they're literally AIs waiting like searching, 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 target, target, target acquired, searching, searching, searching. And then dude. That's a standstill and line up the shots. Okay, dude, hello? Hello? Where you going? You know where there's what am I watching, dude? Just flashbang him. Just flashbang him. Literally just walk up, flashbang him, headshot him. Or right click him. I don't care. Wait until their whole team gets there and it gets bubbled, dude. Man, just do it earlier. Look up! Look up! Look up! Look up! Look up! Hello? Anyone? Does anyone hear anything? Do you guys need headphones? Like. Dude, there, there's no way you guys are paying attention. Like, I'm just confused. Like, I'm genuinely angry at this point. Like, that is unbelievable. Dude, I don't get it. I actually don't get it. Do you guys not have headphones? Like, you guys don't have headphones? You guys don't look up? You only stare at the floor? Punch the floor? Dude, I think you did more damage to the floor at the end of this game than you did in that last fight. I'm not gonna, dude, that was, I, 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 dude, like, it's, it's painful, because, like, you could genuinely be, be better, you could genuinely be better, god, how do I fix the inherent brain issue that's happening, I, I, I don't think that's fixable, oh, I hate it here so much.